Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's a Ginger Yeti getting some final beers in at home before I hit the road. And before I get into this beer, I want to point out I'm wearing my Nez Blood beanie. Nez Blood is a, uh, or was, this really awesome record and, and music memorabilia shop in Oslo, Norway. I was finally able to go there uh, last year in October. It was a really cool place. There's a lot of music history there, especially um, as far as like black metal goes, which I know is kind of a niche genre. And unfortunately, I found out this week the place caught fire. Had a lot of extensive fire damage. So down below in the com in the uh, description, I'm going to post their GoFundMe. Maybe I'll post the article about them burning down some of their socials or whatever. It's just a really sad thing because it's it's a uh, was a, was a really cool historical kind of music store, and the basement might have been where black metal was actually started. With that being said, we're now going to get into this beer. So what I have for you today is the Double Orange Chantilly Milkshake Double IPA. That's a mouthful. And it is from Phase 3 Brewing Company out of Lake Zurich, Illinois. No idea where Lake Zurich is. I, artwork's all right. Nothing real special. But the, like, orange and black filigree and the name Double Orange Chantilly Milkshake Caught my attention, so that's why I bought it. Picked it up at Rosie's for $5.60. And I didn't go read past the double orange Chantilly milkshake. Wasn't even thinking. If I'd known it was a double IPA, I may not have picked it up. But here we are. So this is a double India Pale Ale brewed with lactose, orange, vanilla, citrus, and Simico. Which could be good. It might be a tasty beer. Comes in at 9% alcohol. That's going to be rough. Uh, not much else on the can here. Phase3brewing.com. And what does this say here? Handcrafted beer. Uh, quality ingredients by honest people. Sounds cool to me. Let's get into it. Untapped. Gets a 4.17 with. 4.5 thousand check-ins on Beer Advocate. It gets a 90 outstanding, but there were only 25 ratings. Got that all in the glass there. Oh my God, there is a ton of floaters. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that is just full of floaters. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there is just so much stuff floating in there. Ah, man, there is so much in suspension in there. Um, on my... Man, a lot of stuff floating in there. On my SRM chart from the winemaker shop, you know, I'd probably give that about a... Probably give that about an 8, actually. Kind of looks like an 8 to me. Yeah, I think 8's good. And that's a nice, bright, white, super thick head. I mean, that is a really thick head. That looks like you could walk across that head. I mean, that looks like snow. And it is just sitting there. It is not dissipating in any form at all. It's just sitting there. Like like, like two inches of snow on top of the glass. As far as smell... Huh. I'm getting vanilla and... Have you ever had a chocolate orange? You get that kind of like chocolate orange smell, which that, that's not anything I was expecting at all. That, that's really weird. I mean, maybe that's that's the, the, the lactose and vanilla combining with the orange, but it's kind of got like a chocolate orange smell. Not expecting that at all. If this tastes like a chocolate orange, I'd be in heaven, but I'm guarantee you a double IPA doesn't taste like a chocolate orange. Let's find out. Oh, man. Oh, 
almost a medium bodied. Smooth is the first word I, that comes to my mind when I'm drinking this. It tastes smooth, if that makes sense. It's smooth. And that is kind of like, I can't believe I'm going to say this. It is kind of like that um, chocolate orange kind of flavor. Like, you don't get really the chocolate. You don't get any of the chocolate. But, like, the orangey flavor, the orange citrus flavor you get out of a, uh, a chocolate orange or, or out of some, other, some of the other nice, proper confectionery chocolatier or, or, or candy makers, orange candies. You, you you really get that like candy orange kind of vanilla and orange and it that's really good. Nine percent, no way, not at all, not a hint of alcohol in there. That's just like, like I said, that's just like candy orange, but not not candied orange. Again, it's something like a. a uh, chocolatiers or confectioners kind of candy, like vanilla, orange. There's just the slightest bit of hot bitterness on the back end. But if you gave this to me blind, I don't think I would think, I, there's no way I would say this is a double IPA. This is just like that, like I said, that, that Vanilla orange. If you could separate the vanilla and orange flavors out of a chocolate orange and have them separately, that's what this is. Maybe almost like a orange white chocolate. I mean, chocolate's not involved at all, but that, that's like the closest kind of description I can give to this. This is really good. Huge horns up for this. Big horns up. This is excellent. I mean, this is a really nice beer. Didn't want to like it. Wasn't impressed with the name. Because, again, I'm always, like, talking about how I don't like double IPAs and IPAs, even though I shouldn't say that because I end up liking a lot of them. And I don't think I would have bought this if I realized this was a double IPA. I just thought orange Chantilly milkshake sounded great. And this is just a really good beer. Uh, five sixty a can. I think that's a fair price for this coming from... Microbrewery in Lake Zurich, Illinois, wherever the hell Lake Zurich is. This is a great beer. And, you know, you got to challenge yourself. You got to embrace that adventure sometimes. Go put yourself out of your comfort zone and try new things. Like Bruce says, try something new. I mean, I normally wouldn't drink something like this just because of it being a double IPA. And it's turned out really well. And with that... As I said, embrace the adventure.